Hello everyone, this is Destiny Hawkins with Viber Designs, and today's video will be on how I created this book cover using GIMP step by step. So if you do not have GIMP and you would like to learn how to use it, go ahead and check out my link below. It'll take you to my first tutorial where I walk you through the steps on how to download GIMP and where you can um, get your stock images from. Then after you watch that video, you can come back to this video, you'll be a little more experienced. Um, for those who already have GIMP, feel free to follow along. Um, all you'll need is a few pictures, literally just two, and we can go on from there. So you're going to start with a blank canvas. Go to File, New. Make sure the width is at 2,000 pixels and the height is at 3,000 pixels. Click Advanced Options, Fill with Transparency, and then select OK. Since I'm already there, I'm not going to do that. And then you need two pictures. Get yourself a model or background. And then um, I would say a picture of smoke or a picture with that looks like clouds are all blended together. I'm um, like a storm clouds. So first I want to go ahead and make it look like it's fading out into white. So I'm going to make sure that this is make sure that your blank canvas is selected with white first It's filled with white first so click your bucket fill tool make sure that white is in the foreground and then select your blank layer then put your model on top go ahead and click the seeing eye tool make sure that your model is visible right click it add a layer mask make sure white is selected click add go over to your gradient tool and then select the gradient and make sure that it's FG to BG. Select below the picture and drag up. Also, I want to make sure, make sure that this layer next to the image is selected when you do this. Also, it won't have this effect. What I like to do next is go to the smudge tool and I like to um, even out these lines here. Just make it smooth. And then I want to make the image pop a bit. So what I do is right click the model. And I go up to duplicate. I go to mode, soft light. And then I can either make her blur or just leave it as she is. I do want to blur it out though, just a little bit. I like to make my models look as if like they're glowing. I give them an extra glow. <laughs> After that, I'm going to go ahead and select my clouds or your smoke, clouds or smoke. And then go ahead and select overlay after you click your mode. So go to mode, overlay and stretch your image out over your model as you would like. Go ahead and move. You'll select the move tool. So now we have the first part done. Now I want to make it look like there's smoke behind her. I'm going to actually right click the clouds again, duplicate the layer, but I'm going to change the mode. And I'm going to take the mode over to hard light. After that, I'm going to move it as I wish, selecting my move tool. And then I'm going to right click that layer, add the layer mask, make sure white is selected, click add, go to my gradient tool, FG to BG. I'm just going to drag it over. Now make sure that it's actually fading out. Right click and make sure that the alpha channel is selected. Mine's grayed out so I'm fine, but for some who alpha channel isn't selected, go ahead and click on it. Go ahead and apply the layer mask. And then I don't like how it looks down here at the bottom. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it again. Add layer mask. And this time I'm just going to drag up. Go 
and then smooth out this line. I can't really say I like it over her face the way it is. All right, so now I want to go ahead and play with the colors. I would select the clouds, go to colors, colorize, and I think I'm going to go ahead and make this one gold ish. <laughs> but then I think I want to make the background color, the background cloud, something different. Let's do, ooh, that's pretty. Huh. Whatever would I, ooh, that's pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna do purple. <laughs> I do wanna make the eyes pop a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and click Layer, New Layer, make sure Transparency is selected, click OK, the mode should be on Overlay, keep this at white, and then make sure that the circle fits the eye, and then click over the eye. If you mess up at all, click Ctrl Z and this will take you back, so, ah, no. Control Z. Save the day. <laughs> now, I also like to make other things pop too. So, I'll do the same exact thing that I did with the eyes with the new layer. But I'll like take it over the lips. Oops, sorry. And I just kind of play with it, see what I like. You can use the Gaussian blur, use filter, blur. You know, you can smooth it out this way. And you can erase what you want. I would rather, should we have glowing teeth? Maybe the glowing teeth should glow with the lips. All right, so we're gonna keep glowing teeth. Um, <laughs> then I wanna cover the rest of this lip, maybe. All right, so now we are going to add the text. Select your text tool. Select the font you would like to use. I'm using Sensil Decorative. And I'm gonna make it black. Nope, I'm gonna make it purple. Since I want it to be the same exact purple, I'm gonna click the color picker tool, go to the purple, select the purple. There's different purples here too, so make sure that you're selecting the right color that you want mixed in the colors that's there because <laughs> there's different color purples here. You'll see the colors change here in this box. And I actually want it to be dark. So then I'm going to select the text tool again. Select the top layer because I like my text to be at the top. It's just easier to look at. And then you go ahead and you title it. So my title was Book Cover Tutorial. Oops, that's all caps. Cover. And then I made another one and put tutorial. And then I blew it up. And it is by Vibra Designs. Only I'm thinking I want to make that gold, so I'm going to select it, go down in size, change the color to black. I will right click the layer, alpha to selection, go to your gradient tool, change the gradient to the gold one. You may have to search through yours to find it. And select anything, then click select none. And we can't see. So I'm going to go ahead and change the color of it. <laughs> and 
and we'll just go for a brighter purple. Yeah. And then the subtitle was a quick and simple book cover. I hope it felt quick and simple. If it didn't, just let me know in the comments. <laughs> I try and fix it. Okay, and to make sure that your text is centered, click the alignment tool and then select your text, hit center, and then you can just do that with all of your text. And then what I do next is I select right click on the text and I click merge down. And then I right click again to merge down with the other text. Now it's all one thing here. Right click alpha to selection, select layer, new layer, click OK. Pull that layer under the text layer. Select your paint bucket tool. Select Grow, click OK. Make sure that the foreground is white. And then select inside the um, selected box. You know, the selected text. Then click Select None. And go over to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Or pretty much just making sure that the text in the back, it can be seen completely. Didn't really need it down there with the book cover tutorial. But it helped the quick and simple book cover be seen better. Alright, so this is how I created this book cover here. Then I just did a remake. Of course, I could make it look a little fancier. Let's see what I can do. I think that's all it needed. <laughs> I think that's all it needed. All right, everyone, that's it on how I created this book cover using GIMP. If you like the tutorial, please subscribe, and I will be making more, so keep an eye out. Um, you can check out more of my covers on VibrantDesignsCovers.com. I do create book covers for authors and myself. Um, the link is below, and feel free to follow me on Instagram at the healthy underscore artist where I post fun videos on how I create book covers as well. And my completed covers. Um, go ahead and check that out. I'll be around. <laughs>